What happened? Video. Water, water, water. God damn it. Oh, you all. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. This is the next part of the Chaparral Boat Build. If you guys missed the previous videos, I'll put the link right here if you guys are watching at home on your computers. For the guys on the TV, you guys can head over to the channel and check those out as well. So what are we gonna be doing today? Today is a big day because we have done all the cosmetic work on the boat, and now we're gonna be focusing on the engine. And we really don't know if it's gonna run or not, but the good news is I got a brand new battery for the boat. And for you guys watching, a good tip, I learned recently the cheapest place to find a marine battery is Walmart. Yes, I do not like Walmart, but you can find a lot of cheap stuff there for a good price. And I think, I don't know what I paid for. I paid like 60 bucks for a brand new marine battery. And before I was going to a, a different store and I was paying like 120, 115, something like that. So our mission today, our mission today is to get the motor firing. And I don't know what's gonna come with that. It might turn over the first time. I don't know yet. So. Make sure you guys stick around because we're gonna learn something and we're gonna have fun with it. So let's get this motor running. All right guys, so I know I've never showed you guys the engine for this boat. And if you guys are curious, it is a five liter Merc Cruiser, TBI, which means throttle body injected. It's not multi-port injected, just throttle body injected. And we're gonna see if we can get this bad boy to turn over for the first time. It's a pretty nice motor, super clean, a lot better than the last boat we did. If you guys missed that boat, another link right here. And it's gonna, I got, I got a good feeling about this. I hope it's gonna work, we'll see. So if you guys are wondering who's holding the camera for me right now, best friend, he came to town and uh, he's just waiting to go in the military. He got a C-17 pilot slot, he's a fly boy. Oh, Thinks he's yeah. better than everybody. But it's all right guys, it's all right. It's nothing personal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man. So anyways, we're gonna try to get this motor to fire up and we'll let you guys watch what happens. Either we're gonna, have to put a new motor in or we're gonna have to fix it. I really hope it's not a new motor. What do you that think, man? That would suck. That would, that would suck, man. That wouldn't be fun. So, all right, man. Well, we're gonna hook this new battery up and try to crank her over for you guys. Noah! <laughs> I'm stuck! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I hope this battery blows up in my face. Oh, I would love that. That would be awesome, dude. And all the cooling Golly! What was that? There goes my alternator, folks. There's the intro for the boat. What happened? Video. Water, water, water. God damn it. Oh, you all. Where's the hose? Is it on fire? No. Nope. Is it on fire? It's smoking. Yeah? Is it on, <laughs> Is it on fire, man? What's going on? I don't right know, now? man. <laughs> oh. The alternator just went up in smoke. I don't know, man. There's the intro, baby. Woo! <laughs> Dude, my heart's racing. I thought the whole engine was about to catch on fire, yeah. man. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, golly. Well, we got water. It smells like fireworks out here. Yeah, that's some magic smoke. <laughs> you are a dirty boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh no, Noah. What is the battery shot? I swat. Are you kidding me? What happened? I put the wrong wires on the wrong terminals. Oh, that's what happened. I, I was, wasn't even looking. I wasn't paying attention that closely, and so. The reason I did is because that one stuck out more to me. Oh, it's hot. Is it shot? The battery? Yeah. No, no, no. It's hot. All right, folks, so quick update. Um, just double check, even though I did double check. Maybe the new glasses are lying to me, I don't know. Here come our boys in blue. Yeah, here come the fighter jets. So, I guess the lesson here is, uh, just don't be a jack wagon. I think that's it. What do you think, Noel? How embarrassing. I was even double checking. How embarrassing. I know, man. <laughs> Golly. It's so hot. The baby missed it. Almost burnt the boat down. All right, my motor, my motor just caught on fire. So I think I'm gonna take some time to think real quick, and uh, I might need to get, grab a bite to eat. Rolling. I'm seeing everybody. 
Anytime I want to clear my mind, I always give me some Chick-fil-A. Did you ask for your fries? Well done. Yeah, I did. Well, who does hey, that? Hey, if you guys go to Chick-fil-A. Who does that? If you guys go to Chick-fil-A, always get your fries well done. What does that even mean? Just wait. They're, they're super crunchy, super good. They're like, it's time. We're good. I'm focus. We're good. All right. So after that jack wagon move, um, I got the wires on the right terminals. <laughs> um, so now it's just time to see if the boat will turn over. And I'm not really worried about the alternator anymore. It did catch on fire, probably gonna have to buy a new one, but we can still turn the motor over. Probably won't last that long because that battery's gonna lose charge because the alternator's not charging it. Um, but yes, the alternator did catch on fire. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so before I start the motor, those fighter jets keep going. Oh man. Before I start the motor, I always like to, uh, Take the air cleaner off so I can see what's going on in the carb. It's pretty nasty and it needs a good cleaning. Um, but yeah, I always like to do that before I started. That way I can see if there's any smoke coming out or anything weird coming out. But without further ado, we're gonna start the motor. It's gonna be fun. You Shit's ready? Good. Battery yep. hooked up right? I think we're good. I don't I can't believe you did that, man. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. <laughs> Three, two, one, don't blow up. That's good. That's promising. That's good. Here we go. Oh man. She wants to go. Let's give it some fuel, folks. Let's give it some fuel. Yeah. Prime it up. Here Pump we go. Her up. Here we go. Man. No, that is, folks, that's money. <laughs> that's money. You got a bad sound. All we had to do was catch the alternator on fire. Right. I don't want to let it run too long because we got to hook water up to this. All right. How does so that make you feel? It feels good. I like it, and um, I did kill it because I want to hook water up to it because I don't want to burn my water pump out, but... I mean, it starts good. It sounds like it's running good so far. There is kind of a weird noise. Uh -huh. To do a true test of this motor, we gotta get it up to temp. And luckily, the temp gauge is working on here. So let's hook the water up and let's get up to temp. Oh, yeah. I yes. told you guys before, oh, yeah. we're looking water up right now yeah, yeah, and we're yeah. gonna get up to temp. And hopefully oh. it holds temp because that'll save me a lot of work. I mean, I'm, I'm regarding the alternator and when it caught fire, um, I really don't think it's gonna charge the battery. It was probably just the insulation burning up, but we might get lucky. We might get lucky. So I really don't feel like buying a new alternator, but that's what we gotta do, that's what we gotta do. What do you think? Is this gonna go up to temp or not? I'm trying to be a gymnast here. I think we're gonna have success. You think so? Yeah. I hope, man. The uh, fire and the alternator is speaking to me. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. And we got it on film for you guys. We're gonna watch our volt gauge, and we're gonna make sure that goes up a little bit. That's how we know the alternator's working. I highly doubt it will. Um, and we're also gonna be watching our oil pressure. We want that to be good. And also our temperature. Whenever that gets up to 10, it should stay around 180, maybe a little below. But also with this test, um, if our engine is not maintaining temperature, it could be an impeller issue on the outdrive, that water pump in the outdrive. So uh, we get to test a lot of things now, and. Then from there we can make our list and troubleshoot, but let's fire it oh, up. I love when he talks shop, people. <laughs> love when he talks shop. Are you ready? Let's do it. We got some water coming out of the prop, so that's good. We got water flowing through, it's cold. I can, I can smell that alternator. Yeah. I'm surprised it's still idling, man. It looks like it's holding the charge. Look. It might be, oh, it does as well. Hold on, it's doing pretty good. She's doing good. What a, what a daddy. Yeah. What are you, some kind of pervert? <laughs> Dude, it's staying the same voltage. That alternator might be working. I don't know. You oh, that's any... pretty sweet. Let's we'll see if we got any leaks. 
Everything's looking good. Power steering's not leaking. I don't see any oil leaks. No fuel leaks. Oh wait, we might have a little fuel leak right here. Yeah, it's coming up. We just gotta tighten that up a little bit. I'll tighten it up right now. Keep that list short. What a man. That's right. Dude, it's staying the same. Um, you go down a little bit, maybe? Think so? Maybe. Uh, it's, Hard to tell. It's about the same, yeah. man. That's wild. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get the GM and their alternators, man. Wow. wow. Fire GM, if you're watching this, good job. Good job. If you guys missed part one through five of this boat build, make sure you go to the channel or click the playlist right here to check it out. Hit that subscribe button. Have a great Sunday and stay busy, guys.